G O B. Welcome to another GOB course blog video. I'm your host, Sons and Guns, here at Raven at Snowshoe, West Virginia. Part one of an 18 hole course blog, holes one through nine. It's a little bit of an overcast day, but have a good time. Get right to that first tee. Hole one, par five. Nothing new today. I just want to try to do some commentary as we go along. Uh, playing my standard cut here on the first shot, left to right. Just wanted to keep it in play. That's what I did. Uh, unfortunately, uh, tops are better in chunks here. I was able to catch myself up in the rough. Just unfortunate. Third shot coming in here. Uh, just about 100 yards. And I uh, just wanted to get it down in and around close to the green over the gap. That's what I did. Chip on to the green. My one putt here for my bogey. On to the next hole. Number two, par four. Two good shots. All right, entering the second hole here. Again, driver all day, left to right. Just tried to focus in and just try to keep it just left of that mound out on the right. Got a happy bounce off that mound, to be exact. And uh, left myself again 110. Just uh, tried to get it to the front of the green here. Be happy with the result. Green regulation. Can't complain. Unfortunate part here coming up. Amateur mistake. As you'll see. I'll get myself a little bit to the right there. Get my first three putt. Yeah. Oh, three par three. All right, so we're moving into this next hole. Uh, just wanted to be long here because there's a lot out of bounds here in front of the green. Creeks, stone wall, and I just clubbed down and uh, landed above the pin. Uh, it was a good shot. I just wanted to focus in here and uh, try to get it down to the hole, not blast it by. And one roll short of a birdie. Par's good anyway for an amateur. All right, so here we are on hole four. A big left to right hole down off the mountain right at the front of the golf course. Just uh, wanted to play my standard cut left to right, and that's what I did. Just ended up short here in the rough. Thought here was just try to punch a little eight iron to the front of the green, hopefully not shank it. Still pushed it a little bit right, still that's okay. Amateur golf, and that's, that's what I want to see. I'm really proud of this chip and this reed. It just didn't break out as much as I thought it would. Just a little bump to the right. It's going to swing hard back to the left. Just didn't catch the break right. That's okay. Um, looking at my putt here, just thought it was going to be straight. Just tailed off a little bit right. Bogey, still a good score. Hole five, par five. Good three shot hole. Let's see if we can put the first one in play. So I uh, did strike my drive here quite well. Just wanted to get out beyond that tree on the right that's visible there in the center. It's a good placement if you can get beyond that tree. I uh, have another case of the yips here. Tops are better in chunks. Got myself uh, probably a good 140 in. Uh, string of bad shots continues. Chunk a little bit of my 8 iron and just pour just a slight right. I was able to stay in bounds here and just chunk one out of the weeds. Just bring it back to the front of the green. Give myself a little uphill chip here. Try to stick it close, and I was able to accomplish that. And just uh, jab my one putt in here. And be again happy with a bogey. Amateur golf, that's the way. Six, par three. So I would say these par threes are pretty straightforward uh, on the front nine. A little bit uphill, you just don't want to be short. Left myself to the wide side of the green. It was playing 130 uphill, so it was a good shot. Just really want to focus in here and uh, try to stick my putt close, if not make it in. And I gave myself a good look at par here, and I was able to make the putt. Another good shot. Hole 7, par 4. So we'll just call this hole the fiasco hole as I top one forward. 
pulls way out to the left into the rough. Just not really a good shot. Thinking this hole plays right to left, and it does. I just wanted to be keep myself in play here. Now I just pulled another one to the left. Locked myself out into the rough and basically chipped it through the green and uh, on the back side of the rough again. So just another chip and I missed recording my putts on number seven. I two putted. Better luck next time. Hole eight, par four. As in golf, you just got to brush yourself off after a bad hole and just move forward. And I did here on this next hole. And this is probably one of the best drives I've hit all day. It just got out there center and just rolled out really well. Left myself with about 90 yards to this pin. And I did just pull it a little bit left. But again, that's okay with an amateur style. I just want to give myself looks. Greening regulations are always a bonus. A um, little bit of a longer camera angle here. But basically, I a pretty good putt here. It just stayed out left. Didn't break back like I thought it was going to. Uh, it was sort of sloped left to right to the front. And uh, just tapped in my par here. And another good hole for an amateur. Hole nine. Par four. Let's see if we can put a good one out there. I would say nine here at the Ravens, one of the signature holes. And I say probably one of my best drives of the day for this hole. It's pretty much a laser beam, a big cut back left to right, and right in front of the green, so give yourself just a little up and down here. Just wanted to focus on staying short, so I went long. Huh, amateur style, what can you do? And uh, basically uh, then dragged my putt and left myself with a little bit more putt that I wanted to to finish with a par on the last hole. So uh, this has been part one of GLB course vlog here. The Raven, Snowshoe, West Virginia. Holes one through nine. Played some good golf. Played some bad golf. But all in all, still being a beautiful day. If you enjoyed this content, give it a like. If you want to see more golf content, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Do you want to know?